Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Delete or rename Activision folder. Now for this open file explorer. Go to this PC. Open C drive. Open users folder. Open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top click on view. Select show. Put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Local folder and find the Activision folder. You can make a right click. You can delete it or you can rename this folder and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working disable or enable game mode now for this you can open windows settings go to gaming and over here you can see sorry game mode over here if this is off you can turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check if this is already on you can turn it off and then check so try both next step is to uh, type in core isolation in windows search box and then click on core isolation over here In my case, the kernel mode hardware protection is already uh, off. So if this is on, you can turn it off. Uh, let me inform you when you do so, uh, your computer your computer may be vulnerable. So do it at your own risk. And once make sure that you enable it once you are done playing the game. So make sure that you enable it. So in my case, it is already off. Now, if that does not work, you can disable this memory integrity. Again, make sure, uh, let me inform you, your device may be vulnerable. Do it at your own risk and make sure that you enable it once you're done playing the game. So you can turn this off and then click on yes to allow and then restart your computer. After the system restart, you can launch the game. And once you are done playing the game, you can enable it once again. And then once it is enabled, again, restart your computer and then check. Next step is to disable xmp or expo in system bios so if your system bios has this option xmp or expo expo you can disable it and then relaunch the game and then check make sure that you enable it once you are done playing the game next step is to if able to launch the game you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game if you are able to launch the game turn off ray tracing so launch the game first so go to graphics over here and go to settings and then go to graphics and then go to over here go to quality and over here if the ray tracing is on you can turn this off and then check if that does not work you can turn off hdr so you can go to graphics once again and then you can turn off this high dynamic range turn it off and then check uh, you can even press alt plus enter to switch to window mode turn off hdr lower down video settings so you can go to quality and then uh, in graphic settings go to quality and if the graphics preset is set to like ultra you can set it to high or you can try medium and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like a uh, or if you're using windows security go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browser apps now, wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, you can open C drive. Um, you can, if you have the game on Steam, you can open the Steam folder, Steam apps folder, common folder, and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file over here, and then click on open. And check if there are any other exes file. COD25. No, that's the only exe file added. Uh, type in control panel in Windows search box. Click on control panel. System and security, Windows Defender Firewall, allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, allow another app, click on browse, go to the game installation folder. And then again, open the game folder and select the game exe file. And then open, add. In my case, it is already added. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Similarly, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Not On, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game, manage, browse local file. Go to the game installation folder and then make a double click on the game exe file. Launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties. Go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to install, install Visual C++ file. Now for this you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website, scroll down. 
here you can see x86 and x64 you have to install both the files so click on it run the cxc file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well again run the cxc file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete once both are installed restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game select properties go to launch option type in dash d3 d11 over here launch the game and then check and then let me check if you have the game on battle.net you can do the same thing if that does not work type in dash dx11 launch the game and then check still not working try dash dx12 launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website the battle.net user can do the same thing uh, you can go to the uh, select the game and then i have not and uh, the game is not installed over here so over here you will see uh, like uh, game settings and then you can go to uh, launch arguments and then try da dash dx3 uh, dx11 or dx12 in the launch option and then check nvidia card users select your graphic card your operating system click on find and on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver and whichever is the latest geforce game lead driver click on view and then click on download once the download is complete run this exe file click on yes to allow click on ok and once um, now you, you have to select this nvidia uh, sorry select by default this will be selected click on agree and continue select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next once the clean installation is done restart your computer and then check still not working then uh, amd card users do the same thing go to amd website select your graphic card your operating system and then download the latest graphic card driver uh, so on this page i don't have amd graphic card this is just an example so select your graphic card and then select your operating system whichever is the latest you can download it install it restart your computer and then check next episode run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here now click on the game select high performance you will see your graphic card over here and then launch the game and then check desktop users make sure that you connect your sdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot next up is to try launching the game from nvidia app nvidia card users you can launch the nvidia app and then go to call of duty black ops 6 launch the game click on black over here black ops 7 click on play over here launch the game from here and then check if that is not for go to settings or you can go to graphics over here and then select the game over here once you select the game at the right hand side uh, if there is optimize option over here you can hit optimize so i'll show you a different game this is just an example once you select black ops 7 if you see optimize option you can hit optimize and then launch the game if it is already optimized you can revert the optimization and then you can launch the game and then check and then you can go to global settings app if smooth motion is off sorry on turn it off now it's still not working uh, the next step is to um, try debug mode now for this go to desktop make a right click on the desktop show more option in video control panel and then go to help and then put a check on debug mode so if this is unchecked put a check once you have a check on debug mode launch the game and then check if, if that does not work go to manage 3d settings global settings click on restore click on yes to allow and then at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply and then you can relaunch the game and then check nvidia app users you can also go to settings over here turn off this nvidia overlay turn this off and then close the nvidia app and then launch the game still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel go to hardware and sound power options and then over here i have only balance so if you have power saver option like this you can select power saver and then relaunch the game and then check if it is like you can even try balance or high performance but first of all try power saver next step is to enable or disable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling for this type in graphics settings in windows search box click on graphics settings click on uh, sorry click on advanced graphics settings over here 
and then over here you can see hardware accelerated gp skill if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game if this is already on turn it off relaunch the game and then check next step is to disable integrated graphic card make a right click on the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter over here you can see if your computer has a dual graphic card in my case intel is the integrated one if you have dual graphic card you can disable that integrated graphic card make a right click click on disable device and then relaunch the game and then check once you're done playing the game you can enable the integrated graphic card once again still not working roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working after you select your graphic card your operating system on this page uh, you can scroll down and then click on view more version maybe you can try the older graphic card driver view it download it install it and when you install it go for clean installation then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check amd card users after you select your graphic card your operating system click on previous versions and maybe select your operating system and select and you can install this one or maybe this one download it install it restart your computer and then check Next step is to install DirectX file. Now for this, you can go to this website. The link is provided in the video description. It, it is a Microsoft website and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and then accept next uncheck install Bing bar next and let the installation complete. Once installed, restart the computer and then launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16 384 me megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here and then relaunch you have to restart your computer once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then check still not working uh, lower down monitor refresh rate like if your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz maybe you can try 120 or 60 hertz and then check restart steam or battle.net as an administrator if you have the game on steam close steam and then type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then click on run as administrator similarly if you have the game on battle.net exit battle.net and then type in battle.net make a right click run as administrator and then check still not working the next step is to repair or verify the game files if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab click on verify integrative game files after the verification launch the game if you have the game on battle.net you will click on the game you will see scan and repair scan and repair and then check next step is to uncheck uh, now for this you can type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then open file location
and then again steam open file location once, once again and then over here you will see the gate uh, steam exe file make a right click properties go to this tab if this is checked you have to uncheck this box hit apply click on ok and then launch the game you have to relaunch steam so if the steam is running uh, you can close the steam first and then relaunch steam you have to open steam once again so do the same thing with battle.net close battle.net and do the same thing type in battle.net i'll show you make a right click open file location again make a right click open file location make a right click properties if this is checked over here you have to uncheck this box uncheck this box and then hit apply click on ok do the same thing with the game exe file you have to go go to the game installation folder and then you have to make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then if this is checked over here you have to uncheck this box hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check next step is to when you launch the game uh, if you receive a prompt to launch in safe mode you can try it let status preloading be 100 percent complete when you launch the game if you see status preloading let it be 100 percent complete and then check disable or it enable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if this is already off turn it on and then check close other overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay nvidia app turn off overlay close all kinds of overlay application do not overclock set it to default close all overclocking application like if you have msi after burner revert you know etc running you can close it disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor disconnect extra controller connected to the computer if you have external keyboard and mouse like key crown keyboard razor handspan keyboard or mouse which you're not using disconnected unplug hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected close all third party application from your computer uh, if if you're using the vpn uh, you can turn it off and then close vpn if you're not using you can use it you can turn it on and then check if you're undervolted you can be remove the undervolt and then check install media feature pack if you are using n version of windows now for this open windows settings go to system scroll down go to optional features view features yes to allow type in media feature pack over here in my case i have windows 11 home if you have windows n edition you will see you might see media feature pack over here put a check on media feature pack install it restart your computer and then launch the game you can even type in turn windows feature on or off over here and then type in turn windows feature on or off click on it and make sure media feature pack if this is unchecked put a check install it restart your computer and then check update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and the, then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game after you uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart the computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game was installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game was already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel